Well, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. It is Friday the 13th. I don't know. Maybe you're superstitious. Maybe you're not. It's the 13th, though. I guess we'll deal with it. And it's full moon tonight, so double whammy if you're superstitious. You'll get to see it, though. Take a look at this. Clearing skies moving our way. Man, I have a great weekend forecast. Talk about that here in just a second. Today's video update is sponsored by Metal Magic in Washington. You can give Chad a call at 698-8555 for all of your paintless dent repair needs. And, of course, tell them Southern Indiana weather sent you. Here's that clearing line moving in. Showers moving off to our east. Folks, it is going to be an absolute great day. Put the future radar into motion. Future radar is way overdoing it here. It, it's saying we're out of here with rain by 11, 12. Now it's going to be a couple hours earlier than that. But the rain's going off, and that's a good thing. Friday's all clear. Saturday's all clear. Sunday, we've got some rain potentially moving into our west. I don't think it's going to affect our area like Future Radar says at this point. I think that's overdoing it again. I think it dissipates before it gets here, and then it's Sunday night before we see any threat from something that's completely out of the picture here. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's nice. You know, we're going to have some some free days with that. All right, let's take a look at the surface map. High pressure, large and in charge here. There it is, moving over our area. Eventually, though, that will exit our area, and we have yes, more rain potentially moving in next week. Here's your next cold front. There's Sunday afternoon that moves in. That rain doesn't start to move in our area here into the overnight hours on uh, Sunday into Monday morning. Looks like we could have another wet week. And then we start to maybe potentially dry out with some scattered stuff again. More cold fronts move through. So not a deluge uh, next week like what we have seen in the past couple of weeks. But you see plenty of rain chances around the area. And it stays that way through the extended period as I've clicked this on. But notice this down here. Uh, this is a landfalling tropical system that the GFS wants to paint. And this would be for about the 25th of June. And uh, notice it, it's 983 millibars. Notice how tightly the, the lines wrap around here. Uh, that would probably be at least a tropical storm, if not a Category 1 or 2, 983 millibars. Uh, that's pretty low pressure. That's probably getting close to Category 1 level at that point, if not even Category 2. Uh, now, the GFS has painted this picture for about two or three days in a row here, so we'll have to watch this and see what it does. It made landfall over here. It's made landfall over here. It's taken it out to sea. So um, GFS has ran four times a day, and it's a different solution every time with this. It's, two, it's 16 days away, basically. Uh, it's a 16-day model, and you're near the end of the model, so we're 14 to 16 days away from uh, this event happening down to our south. And... Um, well, it's going to change over in a couple of weeks period. So we'll keep an eye on it. The models are hinting that there could be the first hurricane of the season there. So we'll keep an eye on it and we'll see how that works out. Winds along with this, by the way, would be pretty strong. Here you can see here's some uh, bright uh, yellows up into that. And that's sustained winds, by the way. That's not gusts. That's sustained winds of into the 60 mile per hour range. So um, actually this is in the knots. Uh, this is in miles per hour, which uh, knots are a little bit less than a mile per hour. So um, you'd have to actually get it a little bit greater. So that's definitely um, tropical storm strength upper end to even low end category one hurricane strength um, by the time you factor everything in. We'll watch that closely and see how that does. For us though, it's going to be a hot week coming up. we got a nice cool day shaping out today, but then notice this and uh, we've got 80s, upper 80s and even 90s potentially returning to the forecast. <clears throat> so um, that's it's going to be a hot week. And uh, the rain chances are there, but they are lower rain chances than what we have seen, so that's a good thing. All right, folks, let's go to southernindianaweather.com, and we'll take a look at your seven-day forecast. Here we are today, an isolated shower till midday, clearing skies this afternoon. I'm going with good partly cloudy skies. It may even clear out to mostly sunny by later in the day. There'll be a few clouds that will hung around through at least partial uh, of the day here. Only 77 for your high today, so it's going to be a gorgeous day. Look at tonight, though. Look at how cool we get. Down to 51 for your low. This is going to be an absolutely beautiful night, folks. Saturday, mostly sunny skies, a temperature of 81 degrees for your high. Not bad either. 82 is your normal right now, so that's pretty much on par with where we should be, and that's just absolutely beautiful. Warms up again by Sunday, mostly sunny early. We've got some increasing clouds to work with in the afternoon. It's going to be breezy as well, but that chance of rain, I think, holds off until at least after dark on Sunday, and uh, maybe even into the overnight hours, depending on which way the models want to go with that. But otherwise, it's going to be a great day on Sunday as well. Rain chances look fairly good on Monday, but then uh, Tuesday, you still got a 50% chance early, but then I think the rain chance will uh, start to diminish off 
more in the afternoon hours as we just turn more partly cloudy and have more of an isolated chance in the afternoon hours. But look how high our temperatures soar, 88 on Tuesday, up to 90 on Wednesday and Thursday both. So uh, folks, get ready. We're going to have a few days that we're heading back to close to 90 degrees. The heat is going to be on. It's going to be good pool weather whenever it's not a thunderstorm in the area anyway. So I guess, uh, you know, it's getting summertime. It's, it's that time of the year where we can expect this coming, and uh, it's on the way from the way things look in the models right now. So we got a little bit more rain to deal with there, but, oh, folks, we have a great weekend to deal with before we get there. So if you've got yard work that you need to get caught up on, like I do uh, with all the rain, uh, it, it makes the yard grow. And uh, if you got a lot of that that you need to get caught up on, folks, it's going to be a great weekend to do it. Get out there and enjoy some time with the family. Get out there into the yard or into nature and just enjoy it because uh, – it's going to be great, and we don't get these days this often these days. It seems like we've had a, that rainy pattern sticking in, and it looks like that rainy pattern is going to stick in for a while. I don't see an end in sight to it uh, as you go through uh, the 14-day, 15-, 16-day models each time. Uh, you, you see plenty of rain chances, so enjoy the days while we can get it. All right, folks, that is it for this video update. We'll have another one of these for you in the morning. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. Have a great day, and stay safe.